Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is leftmost and rightmost nodes of binary tree. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? It says that given a binary tree of size n, it means that there are total n number of nodes, capital N, print the corner nodes, that is the node at the leftmost and rightmost at each level. So for each level, there might be multiple nodes. We want to print the leftmost and the rightmost nodes. Okay. Let us look at example for better understanding. Suppose this is my binary tree. So for level 0, there is only one element. So we will consider it leftmost as well as rightmost. Okay. We will not repeat it. So one would be printed. Then for level 1, there are two nodes, 2 and 3. 2 is the leftmost, 3 is the rightmost. Then for next level, 4, 5, 6, 7, there are four nodes. 4 is the leftmost and 7 is the rightmost. So basically starting from level 0 up till level k, suppose k is the highest level of that binary tree. At each level, we want to print the leftmost and the rightmost nodes. And leftmost node will be printed before the rightmost node. Okay. So uh, this is the explanation. If we look at the second example, 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 10 would be printed. Then for the uh, first level, 20 and 30, 20 is the leftmost, 30 is the rightmost, so those will be printed. Then for the third level, second level, 40 is the leftmost, 60 is the rightmost, so 40 and 60 would be printed. Understand one thing, we are asked to print the leftmost and the rightmost for a particular level. So th the rightmost nodes may be in the left part of the tree as well. For example, 60 is in the left part of the tree with respect to root, but that doesn't matter to us. For us, for at each level, we need to print the leftmost and the rightmost nodes. That's all. Okay, level by level. Complete the function print corner, which takes root node as input parameter and prints the corner node separated by spaces. So, how are we given input? We are given the pointer to the root node. Okay, of the binary tree. The corner, the left corner should be printed before the right corner for each level starting from level zero. As I said before, don't print a new line after printing all the corner nodes. Okay. Uh, expected time complexity is big O of n, that is the total number of nodes and expected auxiliary space is big O of number of nodes in a level. So in one level, how many nodes can be there? That is the expected uh, auxiliary space. The constraints are given here, n can go up to, that is the total number of nodes can go up to 10 key power 5. So now if we think about solving this problem, then see what we can do here is we want to print the leftmost and the rightmost nodes. So suppose in general for a level i, let's say for a level i, this is my level i. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the nodes at level i and these are from left to right. Okay, suppose I have stored it in this manner in a data structure. So what I can do is, first of all, I can print 1 and 4 because 1 is the leftmost and 4 is the rightmost. Then what I'll do is, I'll store their children from left to right. So suppose 1 has children, let's say 5 and 6. Suppose 2 has children only 8. Suppose 3 has children 1, 1 and 4 has children 9. Okay. So it would be something like this. At level i, I have 1, I have 2, I have 3 and I have 4. Here there would be the part of the tree. Okay. Now for 1, 5 and 6 are the children. For 2, suppose 8 is the children. For 3, 1 and 1 are the children and for 4, 9 is the children. So for this also, so basically for level i, I have stored them in a data structure from left to right. I printed the first and the last element. Now I stored the uh, children of these nodes in that order only. So I stored them in a data structure. So it became 5, 6, 8, 1, 1, 9. So this is also from left to right. Again, what I can do is, first of all, now I can delete this because I do not want these elements. I can print the leftmost and the rightmost. So 5 is the leftmost element and 9 is the rightmost element. And now again, I'll store their children in the fashion from left to right. So, so first for the children of 5, then children of 6, then children of 8 and so on. So basically what I'll do is, I'll traverse from level 0 to level k. Suppose k is the last level. For each level, I'll store the nodes in a data structure. Okay. Then what I'll do is, uh, I print the first and the last element. And I'll store their children in that order only so that I can get them also from left to right. And I'll repeat this process until I reach the last level that is the leaf nodes. Okay. So what I'll get is and what we can use as the data structures to store them. If we look at here, what I can do is I can take Q. So basically uh, in my Q, I will have 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll uh, pop out one because in Q first in is first out. 
so i'll pop out one and uh, five and six are their children so i'll store it so basically what i can do is i can take two queues so in one queue what i can do is suppose i have one two three four so while removing the elements i can print the first and the last element and i can take another queue q2 this is q1 and i can store as i remove them from this queue i can store their children here so here five six eight one one nine would be stored now i have popped out all the elements from this so q1 will become what empty now i'll push this element into this five six eight one one nine now again i'll traverse them print the first and last element and store their children in q2 and keep repeating this process so i'll be using two queues q1 and q2 q1 i'll print uh, using q1 i'll print the first and the last element uh, and store their children into q2 then again for that level i'll push the elements in q1 uh, print the first and the last element while traversing and push their children in q2 then again take those elements in q1 until the whole binary tree is traversed okay so if we look at this what will happen for this suppose this is my q1 and i have q2 okay so my q1 will have one now there is only one element so i'll print it okay i'll push their children here in q2 so two and three would be pushed here now i'll remove one because i have traversed it and two and three will come here the first and the last elements are two and three only so i'll print them and i'll push their children in q2 so two children are four five and three children is six so four five and six would be pushed here now i'll again push them in q1 i am writing it here so this is q1 4 5 and 6 and q2 would be empty again i'll traverse it store the year children here and print the first and last element so 4 and 6 would be printed and uh, their children only 6 has children so 7 would be stored in q2 now i want to traverse 7 so i'll push it in q1 so q2 is basically an extra space which we use so that while traversing we can store the children of the next level in that q2 okay but while traversing we, uh, which elements we will traverse the elements which are in q1 so now uh, 7 is in q1 that is the only element so i'll print it that is the leftmost and rightmost elements now 7 children are 8 and 9 so i'll traverse it from q1 and push 8 and 9 in q2 and 7 would be removed from here and 8 and 9 will come in q1 and these are the two elements only so this would be the leftmost and rightmost element so my output would be 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 and 9 which is true level by level and leftmost and rightmost nodes are printed now let's look at its actual implementation so now if we look at the actual implementation so as i said in the concept part we have taken two queues q1 and q2 which would be storing pointers to the nodes okay then i have taken one temporary pointer which would be using further i have taken an integer s which would basically denote the size of the queue at a given moment of time and if root is equals to null we'll return because if the binary tree is empty root is null then there is nothing to print otherwise we'll start from the first level so we'll push q uh, root into the q1 now while q1 is not empty until then we will keep running this while loop why because what we are doing basically we are pushing the ith level nodes in q1 traversing them storing their children in q2 printing the first and last element of the level q1 and then to traverse the level i plus 1 we are pushing those elements again in q2 uh, sorry q1 and then keep repeating the process until all the nodes are not traversed so while q1 dot empty is equals to false first of all print the data of the first element in q1 why because in q1 what we have is basically this is my q q1 i'll have some of the pointers p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 which would be pointing to the nodes at a particular level i right so this is the last node this is the rightmost node this is the leftmost node so i'll directly print it without any condition okay so i'll print it so my leftmost node of this level is printed then i take the size of this uh, q1 that is basically nothing but the number of nodes at level i in s if s is greater than one so now understand this if there is only one element at a particular level if there is only one node and the pointer is p1 we do not have to print it twice you remember if there are more than one elements then we define leftmost and rightmost if there is only one element we will print only that element that's why i have taken two if else conditions okay so if size is greater than one what we will do is while q1 is uh, not empty 
टेक द फर्स्ट मोस्ट एलिमेंट एंड इफ दियर लेफ्ट चाइल्ड इज नॉट एम्प्टी देन पुश इट इन क्यू टू एंड इफ राइट चाइल्ड इज नॉट एम्प्टी पुश इट इन टू क्यू सो टेक द फर्स्ट पॉइंट आर इन अ टेम्प वेरिएबल सो टेम्प इज इक्वल्स टू पी वन एंड इफ दियर लेफ्ट चाइल्ड बिकॉज नाउ वी विल बी स्टोरिंग दियर चिल्ड्रन इन क्यू टू टू ट्रावर्स इन द नेक्स्ट राउंड सो इफ दियर लेफ्ट चाइल्ड इज नॉट एम्प्टी एंड राइट चाइल्ड इज नॉट एम्प्टी सो विच एवर इज नॉट एम्प्टी पुश इट इन क्यू टू सो क्यू टू डॉट पुश टेम्प लेफ्ट एंड टेम्प राइट if s is equals to is equals to 1 what does this mean here it is inside f if s is greater than 1 so the initial size of the queue was greater than 1 but at each step we are decreasing the size by 1 and popping out the elements so if at a particular point of time size is 1 it means this is the last element i traverse through p1 i pop it out i pop out p2 i pop out p3 i pop out p4 now my queue contains only p5 initially the size was greater than 1 that is 5 and now size is equals to 1 it means this is the last element this is the rightmost element so if s is equals to is equals to 1 print the pointer to that node and data of that node and then a space okay and we will remove that element as well and decrease the size now let's see the else part so if we look at the else part which means that there is only one element at that particular level so what we will do is we will take that pointer into 10 and if their left child is not empty push it into q2 if their right child is not empty push it into q and pop out that element why we are not printing it because before beginning with level q1 at the first step only we printed the first element why because we considered it to be the leftmost element and we print only the rightmost element in case if s was greater than 1 right we were printing it here so if we are in the else condition there is only one element then we will not print it again now what we will do we will push all the elements of q2 that is the pointers to the nodes at level i plus 1 in q1 so while q2 is not empty push q2 dot front in q1 and pop out the element in q2 and then the again process will repeat for i plus 1 level then i plus 2 level and so on until the whole think is not empty and we will get our answer basically print all the uh, leftmost and rightmost nodes from level 0 to the last level what would be the time complexity see pushing an element in a queue and popping it out takes big of one time constant time we are pushing n elements in q2 we are popping n elements from q2 we are pushing n elements in q1 and we are popping n elements from basically pushing and popping n n elements from q1 and q2 so this is basically nothing but big of n time and what would be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space required here would be what see we are taking q1 and q2 what does they store they store the pointers to the nodes at a particular level so i can say number of nodes at level i plus number of nodes at level i plus 1 at a time in q1 and q2 so basically i can say in general that my auxiliary space is nothing but number of nodes at a level because once we traverse that level we remove those from the queue and then we further never store it so basically the auxiliary space is number of nodes at a particular level that is the maximum space which we require and the time complexity is big of n now let's submit this code so let's submit it so we have solved this problem successfully i hope you have understood this solution completely thank you